Hello everyone, how are you today? I hope that you are healthy and excited to learn something new today. We are going to learn about operations of whole numbers. Please prepare your mathematics textbook and stationery. Before we start our lesson, let us pray together. Blessed God, let your blessing go with me today and grant that I may be obedient to my teachers and may learn with pleasure whatever I am taught. Amen. In the last meeting, we discussed dividing by ten, a hundred, a thousand, and their multiples. I hope that you still remember what we discussed last time. Now, we are going to learn about order of operations. Before we start our discussion about order of operations, I want to ask you some questions to review the last materials. What is 6000 divided by 10? It is 600. Fantastic! The digit remains the same, but the zero in the one's place is removed. How about 6000 divided by 100? It is 60. Great! The digit remain the same, but the zeros in the ones and tens places are removed. Okay, then what is 6,000 divided 1,000? 6. Well done. The digit remains the same, but 3 zeros in the ones, tens, and hundreds places are removed. Good job. I know that you can do it. How about 6,000 divided by 20? One hundred and forty. Okay, but don't forget to write the way also. First, we write the questions. And then, what do we do? Yes, correct. Break down the twenty into ten and two or two and ten. Like this. Next, what is 6,000 divided by 10? Six hundred. Wow, nice. Six hundred. The last, six hundred divided by 2. What is 600 divided by 2? 300. Well done. The two numbers are first divided by 10. Okay. Before dividing by 2. Okay, now let's start our discussion about order of operations. Please open your math textbook, page 35. Are you ready? Good! 
By the end of this lesson, you are expected to be able to follow the order of operations to calculate a number sentence with two or more operations. Start everyone! Did you ever find different answers for the same problem in math? If so, it must be confusing for you, right? Do you want to know how to solve that problem in a correct way? Well, let me explain about order of operations. Why? It is because the problem that you have is related to order of operations. Okay, listen attentively. Order of operation rules tell us which calculations to make first in an expression with more than one operations and here are the rules. First, Two operations in parentheses and brackets. Parentheses and brackets are used to group things together, and our rules tell us to do any operations inside this group first. Then, do multiplication and division. You are supposed to work on it from left to right. Last, do addition and subtraction. You are supposed to work on it from left to right. Now, open textbook page 40. Let's read the instruction together. Find the value of each of the following. Then, use your scientific calculator to check your answers if you have it. Look at me. We have three numbers and two operations, addition and subtraction. If you have a problem with both addition and subtractions, what are you supposed to do? Good job! You are supposed to do it from left to right. Remember, you have to show the steps you take to find the answer. Write the question first, and then add 78 to 125 what do we get 203 fantastic now subtract 50 from 203 what do we get 153 well done Next, how about D? We have three numbers and two operations, division and multiplication. If you have a problem that has both multiplication and division, what are you supposed to do? Good job! Like the addition and subtraction before, you are supposed to do it from left to write. Remember, you have to show the step you take to find the answer. Write the question first and then divide 756 by 3. What do we get? 252. Amazing! Now, multiply 252 to 2. What is the product? 504. Well done. 
Next, let's learn from F. We have three numbers and two operations, subtraction and division. The rules tell us that we need to do the division before the subtraction. So, what is 125 divided by 5? Twenty-five. Good job. And then we subtract twenty-five from three hundred and seventy. Can you tell me the answer? Three hundred and forty-five. Well done. Do you understand so far? Now, let's move to try 1B. Look at C. It has three numbers and two operations, multiplication and subtraction. But, two of the numbers and the subtraction symbol are inside parentheses. That means that they are from the same group And we need to do the part of the problem first. So, what is 416 minus 312? 104, you're right. So, the part inside the parenthesis can just be replaced with the simplified value. This is? 104 Oh, and once you do the one that is inside parenthesis and get a single number like this You usually don't need to show the parenthesis anymore Now that the parenthesis are gone, we just have one operation left to do We multiply 15 by 104, and that gives us 1560 as our final answer. How about F? It has four numbers. And three operations addition division and multiplication but two of the numbers and the addition symbol are inside parentheses that means that they from a group and we need to do that part of the problem first 325 plus 45 is equal to 370 good job now the pair of parentheses is gone we just have two operations left to do division and multiplication now you are supposed to do it from left to right what is 370 divided by 5 Fantastic 74 And then What 74 times 2? 148 Well done Well This is the summary of this lesson. Remember, the step to take when following the order of operations to calculate number sentence with two or more operations. First, do operations in parentheses and brackets. Then, do multiplication and divisions 
you are supposed to work on it from left to right last to addition and subtractions you are supposed to work on it from left to right okay to have a better understanding about this lesson please do some practices in your math textbook on page 40 numbers 1a e 1b b and 1c c however if you want to do all the questions it will be great and i will be happy to check the answer for you do your best capture your work clearly convert it into pdf and send it to me through google classroom have a great time thank you